Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another movie news video slash box office video, but I'll get to that in a second. But in, this, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming becomes the number one comic book movie of 2017 so far. Alright, so just jumping right into this. So basically earlier today, you know, it broke that Spider-Man Homecoming just surpassed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It broke a whole bunch of other records like, you know, it beat like Iron Man and, you know, a few other films, uh, you know, domestically. And then, you know, worldwide, obviously, it's beating every other comic book film this year so far. So it's beating Wonder Woman. It's beating Guardians. Logan, it has made more money than all of those movies. Uh, not combined, obviously, but it has made more money, you know, singly. But, uh, yeah, I think it's good. You know, I think Spider-Man is, you know, up there with, you know, the comic book movies. But to be fair, we have had, out of the four that we've had, yeah, yeah, we have, we yeah, we I was just trying to make sure. Yeah, we had four this year. Out of the four that we had, they're, they're all really good. I mean, Guardians is the weakest one, and even that is still good. But, yeah, you know, it's great for Spider-Man. And um, so, like I said at the beginning of the video, I said movie news slash box office. So, what I'm going to do with this video, I'm going to put this in both my box office slash my movie news playlist. So, it's technically, this is a box office video, but it's also, you know, like a movie news video. So, I'm going to put it in both uh, categories. But, yeah, I think it's great for Spider-Man, like I said. Uh, and the reason, obviously, I put so far in the title, we still have two films coming out this year, Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. And I do think that Thor Ragnarok will make a lot of money. And I think it will also be good. I don't think it's going to make a billion dollars. Nor do I think it's going to pass Spider-Man Homecoming. I think it will make a, you know, a good 700 maybe 800 And then as far as Justice League, Justice League it has... I mean, I think it's the obvious answer. Out of every movie coming out this year, we've had four. None of them have made $1 billion. Wonder Woman, Guardians, and Spider-Man have made eight in the $800 millions. But none of them have made one billion. If there is one movie that's going to make one billion dollars, it has to be Justice League. I, I just only that's the only way I can see it. You know, I was you know watching a couple of my uh, YouTubers videos and stuff, and you know even they're saying the same thing. Like it's Justice League. Like unless they do something terribly wrong, the movie is terrible. But even then, it is Justice League. It is it is DC's Avengers. Plus, you got the obviously the director of the Avengers, Josh Sweden. Like they have to knock this out, even if they make a good movie. I feel like this movie is. I just don't see it not making at least nine hundred, nine hundred ninety nine point nine million. Like this movie, I don't see how this movie doesn't make at least over nine hundred million dollars. I just don't see it. But uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my other movie news videos. Check out my movie review for Spider-Man Homecoming if you want to. And uh, my Blu-ray unboxings, all my videos. I do everything on this channel. And have a great rest of your day. All right, peace out, guys.